Hello, I'm Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia, and I'm here with you today to highlight my most pinned pin. I thought I'd take another recap, go back to where it all began, and I'll tell you that this little guy gets pinned every day. So I thought I'd share how to do tips, tricks, and a tutorial to make him. Would you like to meet him? See him? I'm sure you'll recognize him. He's famous. Here he is. Now this little guy has been pinned so many times I can't believe. So I thought why not highlight what punches I used and also since I did um, do this pig punch art, uh, a lot of things have changed in the punches so I've revamped him a little bit. Hopefully you like the new and improved Mr. Piggy. Anyway, come on in and I'll show you how I made him. Thanks for coming in to see how to make Mr. Piggy. As I mentioned before, he is my most pinned pin on Pinterest. And on my Pinterest board alone, he's been pinned 728 times. Something ridiculous like that. So why not show you exactly what punches I've used and current punches so that you can make it yourself. It's a great idea for kids' parties and things like that. Uh, for little bookmarks and it's something enjoyable that the kids can make that isn't nasty for them like sweets and lollies. So what have I used? Firstly for his body I used the one and three quarter inch circle. For his head I used the one and three eight inch circle. Then for his ears because of what I used previously it's actually retired now so I used the elegant butterfly and just cut off and used the little wing section as you can see I think it actually looks better I'd love your opinion but I think it looks really stick and cute now his legs is using the word window and also I've used the star punch just to cut out the uh, little angles on his feet to give him little trotters his eyes and his mouth is actually using the owl punch not this specific shape of course but the circles in the owl punch and his tail I used the one half inch circle and the three quarter circle and I'm going to show you how I use those together to get his tail and his nose is the half inch circle punch and that's been sponged in melon mambo so if you wanted to take a screenshot of that at least then you'll know exactly what you need to make Mr. Piggy but I'll just show you a couple of little tips that I think will come in handy uh, as I mentioned before, I'm using the Elegant Butterfly for his ears. And all I did for that is just come part way down and then just punch from there. And then you don't have to be too particular, but just cut it in half. And then those little sections glue down underneath so you don't see the little cut bits. And what else can I show you? Oh yes, with the legs, I've used the word window, punched that out. And then with the itty bitty punch pack, there's a star. And all I've done is just lined it up so that it's at the flat section, so it gets rid of that circle section. And then just punched. And you can see there's his little trotter. And same on this side, just got to try and line it up as close as you can, but no stress if it's not perfect. And then all I did to get his little feet was use the basic black marker, and just draw a little line across, and then just coloured. So it kept it really simple, but it's very effective as you can see with his little feet. There we go. With his nose, I sponged that in Melon Mambo, as I mentioned, and then just used the basic black marker to do the nose. So there's some little tips. And then also with the, um, I'm thinking of the word, the owl punch, um, what I tend to do is just do a little strip. So you've got your strip of white here whisper white and then I just feed it through and then punch the two that's what I use for my eyes so they come out so there's only a little bit of extra scrap and then the, the mouth 
you can use this one here. I think they're quite cute. I did use the bigger one, but I think it's cute. And then and then cut it in half. So I'll just quickly show you um, how to compile him with all the shapes now that we've got all those ready. So I use the uh, Tombow glue. I find that that is the most effective. If you're doing it with children, what we've learnt in our experience is that it's good to control the glue as it can get very messy unless they're at an age where you can trust them. But it does come up very quickly, this glue. So just do little dots on here. This is for his ears because you've got to keep in mind his ears need to, need to go on first. So I just put them at the back of his head where I wanted to place them. And it doesn't take long to dry too. So, And so you can move that around until you're at a place where you're happy with his, his position of the ears. Then we just do a little bit of glue here for his head. Put that down. And you can place that again where you'd like to, to put it. Now, um, this glue will also dry clear too, so don't stress too badly if you get a little bit of glue. I've just realized I didn't show you the tail. So a little trick with the tail is to punch the smaller one first, which is the half inch punch. So punch that out first. You can use that for the nose, so don't waste it. And then come in with your three quarter inch punch and just punch that out. And then I just cut it in half. And that's his cute little tail. So if we want to glue that one down, I just put a little bit of glue there. And lift up the back and glue down. And so with the kids, usually what we do is um, I just say to them, what do you think goes next here? And it's like sort of like a little bit of a puzzle for them to put it all together. And just gets them happening. I do like to draw the eyes on uh, at the end once it's glued on, just so that you can get a little bit of an idea of where to place it. I think it's cute to put the little nose over the top too. I didn't do it last time. And I was very upset that I missed that. Then we've got the little mouth. Now, as I said before, I used the bigger one on mine, but I think the little one's cute. And if you wanted to, you could even draw it on. That's another option. And then his little legs, what I do with that is I usually just take a little bit of glue, put it on the end, and then lift up the whole piggy and put him on top and then you can position your little legs wherever you want to put it oh his nose has gone a bit haywire and then just let that dry now with the clips I ordered them online they're sovereign 75 millimeter jumbo and they come in a pack of 25 now Obviously, I'm talking in Australia that I ordered them online. I'm sorry, I don't know what it is in other countries, but uh, I got them through Scout Office Supplies if that comes in useful for you. And I just adhered a double-sided little glue dot to it. You could just use a, an actual glue dot if you wanted to. And then just peeled off each side and turned Mr. Piggy around and put it in the middle. And then used another circle just to cover the back. And we'll put little eyes on him so he's looking like a real piggy. And you, if you're really pedantic about where to place your eyes or what shape you want them to be, you could use a template. But I think it's really good fun for the kids too because they scribble all over it and it looks pretty unco, but it's really cute to see the kids draw it. And they love it. They get really proud of their doing their little punch art animal. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today and watching my tutorial for this gorgeous little Mr. Piggy. 
who I probably should give a name, seeing that he's so famous now. And uh, hopefully you'll come back again soon when I've got another tutorial. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye.